right, so today we're learning how to read the freeze brand on your Mustang. And today we've got uh, Rooster here. He's going to be our, our volunteer because he was the easiest one to catch. That's how we decide who volunteers around here. So Rooster, he always meets you right at the gate. He's an awesome guy. Uh, so reading our freeze brand. First of all, what is the freeze brand? It's only on a Mustang, and it's this patch right here on the left side of the neck where the BLM has used a freeze brand to brand the horse with some numbers that mean stuff, which we're going to talk about today. So we really can't read this because the hair's grown out so much. Come up here and take a look. So we're going to have to uh, do a little shave here. And we're going to shave that down so that we can see what that brand is. So. All right, let's do that. Now we haven't ever put the trimmers or done anything here with Rooster. I'm expecting him to be awesome because that's how he is. So we'll just try, we'll just start with a little on and off. Always curious, but nothing uh, too alarming. That's good. Oh, good boy. I just want him to feel it. Good boy. He's wondering a little bit about that. I don't blame him. Yeah, we're we'll just brushing with it. Good boy. I'm going to take a minute and get him used to this so that he'll stand nice for us. And what he's doing, he's a good guy. Oh boy. Alright, well, let's just see. Uh, See what we can do here. You can do this nice and neat. I mean, it looks kind of cool, and I'm not a hairdresser. So, all you hairdresser ladies out there, yes, yeah, send me a comment and tell me how to really do this. got us down to something that we can work with so now we got to decipher uh, what does this mean how does this work what is this so to give us a hand with that I've enlisted uh, Miss Cammie to come out and uh, use our uh, our school board here and kind of show us how to read this brand so Cammie come talk to us come draw and show us uh, just what <laughs> how are we gonna how are we gonna figure out what all that means. So I looked at the paperwork. So that's the easy part. Looking at the actual brand, not so much. Draw, show us over here. Draw out what we're looking for. Kind of how the how the key works. All right. Well, his is a little bit hard to read just looking at his fur, but um, this is actually what. It says... No, you're cheating. We're supposed to figure that out. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll figure that out <laughs> as we go. <laughs> so, draw draw the symbol on here and show how that... We're going to hide this for a minute. We'll, Where is it? We'll give that back to you. It's in your head. <laughs> you're so funny. You're going to draw out that symbol. It's online. <laughs> That's right. It's online. It's All right. What symbol are you wanting me to draw? There's the, a lot. The... The signal link key, or whatever it's called? No. What? The freeze brand <laughs> key. <laughs> Turn it off. We're going to have a fight right now. So that's, that's the brand. There are basically some different angles depending on where they're at in a circle. So Cammie's going to, she's going to show us what all that means. So we've got our handy kind of cheat sheet right here. Hi, right, Cammie. How does, that, well, how does this thing work? Well, each one of the angles represents a number, so we start with zero is the equal sign. One is the equal sign in a different direction. And then you just go around two, three, four. So each one of these angles we can look at on Rooster and figure out what, what his freeze mark is talking about. What his, uh, no, what his number is. Yeah. And then once we know his number, we'll talk about what we can learn from that. But we got to get the number first. Yep. All right, so in looking at this, 
We got the very first ones, the organization of the government. Oh yeah, this first one right here. So let's, if you can see this one, kind of looks like a, so this is the first one. It kind of looks like a U. Uh, so I think it's for the, anyways, from the United States. So that's the U part. And then we've got the first two marks are on top of each other. So it looks like we got an equal sign up on the top and then this angle pointing down. So let's look at what that is. So Cam, your first signal is a... Uh, and the very first, so they're on top of each other. You said we have an equal sign? Yep. Going this way. Yep. And, and then, then we have a... a this. It's going off to the, yeah, off to that left side. So they'd be stacked on top of each other because this is the year that he was born. So it would be 09. Okay, so that's our first... Our first two digits of his brand is 09. Yeah, so the O goes like this, and the 9 goes like this. All right. Okay, so let's draw that on there. Let's do a 0 and a 9, and then we'll put the other symbols up above. Or somehow, just draw the numbers and the symbols together. All right, this is an 09. Okay. Then it looks like the next one is a right in, a, I don't know, I need you to come and look, and it points off to the side. The next one just goes straight down, it's a V. Straight down, okay, yeah. so straight down. So it's this one. That's going to be seven. a seven. All right. And then the next one. Oops, I erased that. It's going the off. Is the nine again? Going off to that side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So another nine. Actually, that first one looks like 08, but I looked at the paperwork and it says 09. But that angle is a little bit different than the side angle of the nine. So human error. He's either born in 08 or 09. Right. <laughs> we'll uh, have to go look at that. So we got a seven and then a nine. Okay, and then. Looks like the next one is a seven again. Straight going down? Yep. Okay. Just right. Stand back right there. Just, there you go. And then what? Is this here where we're at? Yep. So it's just a two. It's like a two to me. This angle. Okay. Two. And then is that one going to the right? Yep, yeah, looks like this. So it's a five. Five. And the last one, it's pretty tough. It's one dot. It's a little bit looks underneath. Like so I think it's an equal sign again. All right, which is so a zero. A zero. So we did it correctly, and we could read. Oh, draw zero. What's on there? there. Boy, it's cold out here. My pen doesn't work. There we go. Okay, so this is my cheat sheet. <laughs> I did this earlier. Uh, got this off of his paperwork. So it is 09. He was born in 09. 797250. So, okay. You know, well, here, let's leave that. Let's leave that up here. See, that just, just showed up a little better. Okay, so what, is, what does all this mean now? So the first two are the year that he was pulled, according to the BLM, based off of the gather date and then aging off of the teeth when they bring the horses in. That's how they, they come up with that. And then the second set of numbers is descriptive of to the state and the herd management area that your horse was gathered from. And then the last four are just unique numbers identifying this horse along with the rest of them. So this is just the identifier of the horse, the area, the state that it was gathered from, and the year that it was born. Now there's not anywhere online a database that you can put this in and, and search and find this. So other than finding out the year that your horse was foaled, that's really all you're going to find out from the freeze brand until you make a phone call. So if you call your local BLM office, they're going to get you to the 
wild horse specialist in your area or in your state, then they can look up this whole number and find out more information as far as the state and or the HMA that the horse was gathered from. Unless the horse was born in the facility, then they'll just have that facility as the, the home range. So that's what you can learn from your freeze brand. So yeah, head on out and go shave your horse and see what you can find out. Or they got your paperwork. It, also, those last four numbers, like if you picked your horse up and he had the collar and the tag, those four numbers would have been on that tag that he came with. So. That's right. Those are the tag, not the yep. collar numbers that are on at the facility. Mm -hmm. So, Now, if you're buying a Mustang or maybe you've got one, you never really know for sure how old it is, this is the only way to really tell for sure, other than aging by the teeth, but this will give you the BLM's age. All right, so there you go. How to read your freeze brand on your Mustang. If you don't have a Mustang, but you know somebody that does, no, I'm not going to tell you to do that. That would be bad. Go shave their Mustang. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, don't do that. That would be no, bad. Don't do that. Words. Don't do that. But hey, look, come here. Check out how cool this looks. Go right back there a little bit. I'm just going to give a bigger... I tell you what, you show up at the horse show or at the roping or at the sorting or go out working cows or take your horse for a ride anywhere, you have it shaved up and looking like that, maybe do a little tighter, neater job, people will ask you about your horse because now they know something's different. Right there, the brand. I love it. I feel like I got the video done. It's early here at the ranch. We get up and we really get a crack on things. I think it's like almost one o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm kind of hungry. I'm ready for my breakfast. So let's let's get some breakfast. Come on. Hello, chickens. So the chickens kind of all have their favorite spot of where they like to lay eggs. We built them this little chicken condo, but they only use like two places. So one of them is down here in the bottom. Every day is like Easter around here. All right, there's five eggs. And right up here is another one, so... Uh, yeah, that's six, so I got breakfast for three. You coming over? All right. Thank you, Schrader.